Yes, breakfast time. Look at Aaron's. Morning. <laughs> he gets a protein shake. Okay, look at that. Rocky style. Ooh. <laughs> So here's the aquarium update for the day. I moved my elegance coral from over here back there because it was just way too overbearing. I was reading so many online forums and apparently I don't think the elegance coral is going to last. I think they said there's only a 10% chance that it will survive. I put post-its on the light to block the light and I put it underneath this cave area so hopefully that can help it adjust but apparently it's just inevitable that it's just going to die which is sad. What's up guys? I'm headed off to Subway for lunch. Whoa, look at this car. I live in a place where lots of people have really nice cars here. <laughs> nice car, nice car, nice car. Feels like fall slash winter weather right now in Northern California. That's about as close as we get to winter. <laughs> Decisions. You get a Subway melt. And they still ask, would you like it toasted? And I'm kind of like, if it's a subway melt, how else would you get the melt part? <laughs> it's like asking for a pepperoni pizza with no pepperonis on it. I was also thinking, you know how I was saying in California, Northern California, they charge you now for plastic bags because they want you to bring your own bags. It'd be funny if they took it to the next level with, with takeout containers. Like, <laughs> they charge for a They expect you to be like, did you bring your own Tupperware? Because <laughs> if you didn't, we're gonna charge you for it. <laughs> Noms, Tom, yeah. Okay, I can't stand it any longer. My throat, every single time I wake up in the morning, my throat hurts so bad, I wake up in the middle of the night and it's like, ah, I can't breathe. And like, my lips are like cracked up when I'm sleeping. I breathe through my mouth, which means I'm, ah, and seriously, my mouth gets so dry. So I think I need a humidifier. So I'm just gonna go back to Bed Bath & Beyond since I saw like thousands of them there. Ooh. Boobs, 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 lot of boobs. Man, I make the baddest bitches send me. So you so silly. I ain't got no all this money coming in, but I never share that boy. No lipstick, no lashes out, but I got a real big old ratchet out. Oh, at B B and B. Oh, look at these night lights. These are so funny. The humidifiers. Apparently, the one that I want is in Campbell, so I have to drive there now. At another B B and B. I'm at a different B, B, and B. Can you tell? Probably not. Ooh, I love these. You can put the cart on the right-hand side and it brings it up. Such a cool invention. <laughs> Getting another massage. They have like all these video screens all over. It's like ridiculous. They're like, oh, the revolutionary new bath mat. <laughs> wow, that's what I've been waiting for my entire life, a revolutionary new bath mat. Shuffle bone dog IQ puzzle. Angry Birds Paper Airplanes? What? I've never seen anyone wear this to the gym. <laughs> I know they have a name for people who wear those kinds of things. Losers. Sorry. Oh, they have it here. Yes. Ah, oh, I got my humidifier. Yes. Looks like I went shopping for Christmas presents. Back home, here's my humidifier. Let's try it out. Okay, let's watch it go. It looks like a fish tank. I can put fishies. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It looks like I'm on drugs. <laughs> I'm too used to having humidity in the room coming from Hawaii. I wake up in the middle of the night, I couldn't breathe. And like, it was so bad that when I would drink water, I couldn't even swallow. The one that I bought in college was like this one for this huge room. And I put it in my dorm, which is really stupid. I woke up one morning and all the walls were dripping wet. I was like, oh my gosh. Look at my yellowfish, he's hanging out on the donut coral there. That's pretty hilarious. My elegance coral is still open and look, the tentacles are getting longer. Like it rearranged itself. I had it like stuck between the rocks. It didn't like it, so like it flipped itself over. I actually like how it looks there, but I had to move this rock out of the way because I was like, this thing's gonna sting it. Look at all the snails. They're like, we're all going to gang up on you mean, mean hermit crab. We're gonna kill you. It looks like hoarders right now, huh? Meep. And now off to the gym.
Yeah, pretty much I noticed that when I'm at the gym, I give the stare of death at everyone. Seriously, I'm like so into my workouts and I'm listening to such angry music. Seriously, I feel like I'm gonna breathe fire. <laughs> I'm not on roids, I'm not doing void rage or anything. People must think I'm crazy. Whatever. <laughs> More on old people writing on a restaurant's Facebook page. I laughed out loud in this one. Anna writes to Burger King, I hope you are well. I love you and I wish a very happy birthday. Love, mom. <laughs> Sue Gibson writes on Olive Garden Italian restaurants page, Happy birthday, Cheryl. I hope it has been a good one. What should I eat for dinner? Hmm. Oh, I actually have this chicken to make this. And some broccoli. I guess I have to cook some rice then. If it takes like an hour to make rice, I guess I can clean the apartment since Bentley's gone. Just wash the rice. Okay, here it goes. Into the rice cooker you go. Plug it in, plug it in. Everyone sing along! What song was that? What did you think when you first heard it? Write in the comments. Did you think Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or did you think the ABCs? Okay, now it's time to clean the apartment. It looks clean, but it smells like Bentley. Saga! cookie because I was so good. Mmm, this place is awesome. So beautiful now. Yes, time for dinner. I'm going to show you guys how I steam broccoli. I will admit that when I went to college, I was like, I still don't even know how to steam stuff. So I'll show you guys how. Basically, you just get a pot and you put like like an inch full of water in. Depending on how you're going to steam it, you can either use like a strainer. This thing right here. I know, what was what is this weird contraption? Well actually, see it has holes in it, so anything stainless steel would do. It has to be able to fit perfectly in the pot. You want to put enough water, but not enough so that the water will actually go through. So you want to heat it up so that the water starts boiling. You just stick it in here, like this. Yes. And here's my chicken pan here. Pre-season. So there's a chicken. I'm gonna put it in the pan. Okay, now this is boiling. I'm gonna take the broccoli that I have, stick it inside, and cover it. I usually do like two and a half, maybe three minutes. Okay, it's been two and a half minutes. Let's check. Ooh, look at how delicious that is. That's how you do it. So easy. Mmm, mountain of broccoli. And there's the chicken. Here's my other one. I actually never know when chicken's done. I always have to cut into it. Of course, when I took my culinary class, we didn't learn how to cook something as simple as chicken, so. And let's check on the rice. Perfect. Ah, oh, so good. And there it is, man portion of dinner, yeah. Extra rice, gonna save for later, along with that extra chicken piece. It's the best way of doing it whenever you cook, so you don't have to cook every single day. I end up eating it for lunch all the time, so yeah. And here's my humidifier. Ooh. Check out all the steam. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Oh no, I was like, where's my cardinal fish? You guys, I just found it. It's dead. Someone killed it. It looks like one of the crabs like tore him into pieces. That's really sad. I like that cardinal. Somebody in the tank ate his face off. Look at that. Who was it? It's like the hunger.